Truth. I got my keys in my hand and bam pass inspection so now I'm gonna head home um, I think I got my front lip in I mean maybe I haven't checked but it said it's out for delivery so I'm gonna install my lip today and I'll record some of that stuff and I don't really have nothing else going on but I'll probably get together with a few of my friends and make something happen today hey uh Hello? Hey! <laughs> well, I got my front lip in today. And I'm gonna try to put it on. Uh, hopefully it fits right, because sometimes when they come in, they come a little twisted. And then you just use a heat gun and kind of like take the stress out of the bend where it's bended at, bent at, whatever. <laughs> and yeah, I'm gonna pull the bumper off now and mock it up. So my daughter's here playing with my tripod, right Ada? Whatever, she's ignoring me. But I got the bumper off. And this bumper has seen a lot of scraping in its days. But now I'm gonna mock it up. See how it looks, see how it fits. Okay, I've never seen a front lip with this much stuff on it. I mean, mind you, I normally screw them in with screws like this and then call it a day, but I don't even know what the hell this is. So whatever that is, I don't even know what to do with that. It looks like a rivet type idea thing. And these brackets, I don't know where they mount, but I will find out now, so. It's looking good so far. Um, I've seen a few pictures of how it gets mounted. Uh, you have to slide it down more and it has to kind of like line up with, uh, right when the bumper starts to turn here. So I'm just gonna mark it in the back. So that way I can drill the holes on the back and the sides first. Once I get the sides on, I can adjust this here, bring it down some. Yep, and there goes the lip. But I found out where these go. Uh, they mount under here on the bumper. And then this piece kind of just holds the, the bottom of the bumper. I mean, the lip, sorry. It holds the bottom of the lip like that. That's how I'm going to mount it. I mean, there's no instructions in this box for how to mount this lip, but common sense just screw it down and call it a day oh the front lip is on it's bolted down got two bolts well no two screws two screws and i mounted these brackets here i mean it has the lip pretty sturdy and it's pretty even throughout the grill area like in the pictures i've seen so now let's throw on the car and see how it looks so it's the next day uh yesterday got a little too dark for me to record and show you guys the front lip but i have it here at work i'll show you now you might not be able to hear me but it's a little windy outside but that's how it looks i really like it the only thing i'm debating if i should paint it white or leave it like that but yeah and i am getting rid of the wheels uh, i don't know when yet because i do want to get my wheels um, i'm gonna order a new set of wheels and get them powder coated a different color I'm not gonna let you guys know what the wheels are yet, but you'll see soon. So I'm gonna try to get rid of these first. I also got these door moldings brand new. That's the part number. They're from an EG Coupe. I'm pretty sure they fit on the hatch doors. I'm pretty sure they're the same. If not, whatever, I'll just try them on. Uh, they do come factory with the clips. So if I break the other ones, it doesn't matter. But a good friend of mine gave them to me, Nate. Nate, thanks a lot for giving them to me. I'll put them to good use. I'll try to see if they fit. <laughs> I'm gonna show you mines how they look now. See, that's why he gave them to me. <laughs> mines are faded, so thanks a lot again, Nate. I'll put these away and then I'll install them either later today or tomorrow, but we're supposed to get a snowstorm tomorrow, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe over the weekend, I don't know yet. Well, that's all I have for today. Tomorrow I'm gonna take the hash back to work and I'm gonna install the door moldings. Uh, hopefully I can do both sides on my lunch break. I only get an hour lunch, but we'll see what we can do. It is supposed to snow tomorrow. Uh, I don't know how bad, you know, the weather, man, are always fucking wrong. So it could be five inches, 10 inches. I don't know. We won't know till tomorrow. So 
If it does snow, I do plan on taking the car on the snow and, you know, fooling around, drifting a little bit. So let's see what happens tomorrow. So with that being said, thanks for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up. It'll help my channel grow. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, hopefully before my birthday in May. So let's get to it.